Lucas Media. So Dame Dash been in the news lately about him possibly getting rid of uh, Reasonable Doubt. He had a judgment against him, and he'd been trying to sell it for a while anyway. But, you know, it's a lot of politics with it. You know, Jay and Biggs, I believe, have to sign off on it because they both own a third of Reasonable Doubt. But Dame got an $800,000 judgment against him. People say he broke and he don't have it. And so Dame Dash went on online and he had this to say to the people who says that he doesn't have any money. Somebody asked me how I got so broke. Um, investing in my dreams. You know, when you're investing in your dreams and you dream big, you're always going to be broke. You'll have a lot of shit, but I don't have no money for nobody else. That's what you call broke. But that's what it is. Long dreams. But either way, I'm going to get with y'all. Stay tuned. I'm curious to see how it all rolls out. But, uh, you know, if we got... So as y'all heard, Dame said that he doesn't have any money because he invested in his dreams. And that went over a lot of people's heads. And a lot of people, they were misfooled, you know, or misled, should I say, by the media. Because uh, when they when Rockefeller split up and Jay went his way, people made it seem like Dame wouldn't have, he was losing his money because, you, you know, you heard things and things, you know, him losing assets and things like that. But yet, what people fail to realize is Dame, he invested his money in Rachel Rory and other things. And... Dame has rich people problems. Even if he says he doesn't have any money, he's living in a mansion. He's driving foreign cars. He doesn't work a regular nine to five. You know what I mean? He, he works when he wants to. Isn't that being rich? Isn't that what most of us strive? But for whatever reason, when you see people, see public figures go through the same things we go through. So a lot of people act like y'all haven't lost anything, you know, or fell a bunch of head. Most people are in credit card debt. So it ain't no different, but rich people live totally different. They uh, they know about taxes, all of that. So trust me, Dame is he good, man. He good, and you should invest in your dreams. Dame went on Breakfast Club in what 2015 and told people about ownership, and people was laughing then. But he woke a lot of people up, even like a Charlemagne. Them now they all own things, and you know he said, "Why would I work for just a check when I can get equity in companies?" You know, and it, I think he got his own network now and Dame is still relevant. You know, he's not he's not this this bro that people think he is. And it's just crazy to me. And on top of that, Dame helped change the game in, in, in general in black culture, urban rock aware, the movies and people for people forget he signed Kanye. Kanye, he may not be where he was. If it wasn't for Dame Dash, Jay-Z didn't want to sign him. Jay-Z just wanted Cam. I mean, Cam Kanye to make beats. So. If somebody like that lost all his money and all, like everybody thinking, don't you think that he would still make it back? Or like I said, even be good to where he don't have to work, work a nine to five. You know, just even think about it. Dame. Dame had a wave with barbershop conversations. Y'all need to watch some of that. He was dropping gems then talking about he ain't never had to have a boss and so on and so forth. So, man, Dame going to be good, man. And he was living in the mansion. This is 10 years after Rockefeller. And what did Kenyatta say? Hey, man, this is broke, man. Shoot, this is how I'm trying to live. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.